Hi. Hi, I'm Matthew. And I'm Ankush. And this is DP News. DP News. Think you might be interested in mock trial? Want to learn skills that will help you prepare for tryouts next fall? Come to DP Mock Trial Summer Camp and you'll learn how to analyze a case, develop formal arguments, improve your public speaking skills, and more. And more? And more. Camp will be held June 16th through 20th and June 23rd through the 27th from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. Contact Miss Savio or Corinne Dorias for more information. Scholarships are available. Tryouts for the cheer, stunt team, and mascot are being held today at 3 in the CAF. Head out to show your stuff. Also, seniors, it's not too late to get your cap and gown. Pick up your cap and gown for Miss Rehage in the activities office before school, at nutrition, at lunch, or after school. Do not come during class time. If you have not paid the cost, the, cap, the cost for the cap, gown, and tassel package is $35 cash. If students need a work permit over the summer, they should drop the application off in the main office by Thursday at 3 p.m. Work permits can be picked up Mondays between 8 and 2 p.m. in the main office at the switchboard. If you are a 9th, 10th, or 11th grader who is not attending DP next year, you must go to the counseling office starting on June 2nd to officially check out. Students can either come with a parent or bring a written notification by a parent requesting the withdrawal. You will take all your finals throughout the week and turn in all your books, pay any debts, and then we can send records to your new school. Students that don't officially check out will have trouble checking into their new school, so make sure to get that done. Here's Colleen Murphy with a special announcement. Do you like that, DP? Well, you can hear more of that tonight at the Talent Show, 7 p.m. in the EPAC. Kids with Charger Cards, you get in free! Senior citizens and non-Charger Cards, tickets are $5. And for adults, tickets are $10. That's 7 p.m. in the EPAC. You can get to see more of my beautiful singing. Thanks, Colleen. I know I'll be there. A reminder for all you performers that there is a mandatory rehearsal in the EPAC at 2 today. You will be excused from 6th, and you can be excused from 5th if you need to go home to get props or equipment. This has been Matthew and Ankush with your news. Now, over to Brett with the sports. sports. Yesterday, softball had their CIF semifinal game against Santa Monica at home. Pitcher Lonnie Evans threw three no-hit innings. However, it wouldn't be good enough as our Chargers fell short, losing to the Vikings 4-0 and finishing out their season with a record of 23-7. Congratulations on a great season, girls, and best of luck next year. In other news, former Charger J. Patrick Smith won his third straight NCAA Division II championship in the decathlon on Friday in Allendale, Michigan, while competing for Chico State. Nick Scarvellis, another DP grad and brother to Stamp Scarvellis, captured his first Pac-12 title in the shot put last weekend for the Bruins. Scarvellis threw 63 feet and 10.25 inches. The sophomore's best throw of the season came on May 4th against USC, traveling 64 feet, 4.5 inches. Scarvellis added a sixth place result in the discus at the Pac-12 championships, held in Pullman, Washington with a throw of 174-2. Next for Scarvellis is the NCAA Far West Regional in Arkansas from May 29th through the 31st. Best of luck, Nick. Softball star and 2013 graduate Chloe Medill just finished out her freshman year at Dartmouth with 42 starts in 44 games. Still a high school senior at this time last year, Medill posted the fifth best batting average for Dartmouth. Medill was a major contributor for the Big Green, who won their first ever Ivy League championship and reached the NCAA Regional. In the Ivy League Championship Series, Medill batted second in the lineup and recorded a, a double in the title clinching 7-3 win over Penn. Congratulations to all the alumni that are still making DP proud. For DP News, I'm Brett Williams. Have a good day, DP.